Hey, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and this week's meal plan. It is lobster season here in New England. So we're gonna have lobster a couple times cause it's on sale at a good price. Sunday, we're having lobster rolls, keeping it simple with chips. It's gonna be good. I have seven uh, lobsters that I cooked and I took all the meat out and I have a small shallot two ribs of celery and a half a lemon and about a cup of mayo. I'm gonna get this all mixed together. I added salt and pepper to taste and gave it a big stir. Now we're gonna get our buns ready. I have hot dog buns that are split down the middle and I just lightly butter them on each side. I'm gonna brown them up. That's what the buns will look like. And then I just kind of opened them up. We're gonna get them filled with the lobster filling. So here's the lobster roll. We're having it with some chips. Looks delish. What a treat. On Monday, I'm making chicken marsala risotto with green beans. And I'll put a link in the description box because I've done a cook with me video on the marsala and the risotto. It's an excellent recipe, one of the kids' favorites. Tonight for dinner, I'm making chicken marsala and risotto. In my pan, I have olive oil. I have chicken cutlets that I dusted in flour. And I'm just trying to get a little bit of a sear on each side, not really cook them all the way through because I'm going to cook them in the sauce uh, towards the end. So I'm going to do the chicken cutlets in batches and then make the sauce. All of the chicken has been pan seared and I'm starting to cook the onion and garlic and I'm going to add the sliced mushrooms. I'm cooking the onions, garlic, and mushrooms until the mushrooms get soft. Now that the mushrooms and onions are soft, I'm going to add the chicken back to the pan. Now that the chicken's back in the pan, I'm adding the marsala wine. I'm going to top off the pan with chicken stock, bring it to a simmer, and this is going to cook while the risotto finishes cooking. And then all the chicken will cook through. I took a tablespoon of soft butter and a tablespoon of flour, mixed it together and added it to uh, the sauce here. And it kind of thickens it up enough that it's not, you know, real loose, but not real thick, thick like a gravy, but just enough. That's my trick. For the risotto, I have an onion diced cooking in some olive oil with uh, some minced garlic. To the onions and garlic, I added the risotto rice. And I'll put all the uh, recipes, the amounts in the description box. I'm gonna continually stir this until um, there's like a little white dot in the middle of the arborio rice. And I'll show you what that looks like. See how the rice has that little white dot? That's the time that you wanna add the white wine. You want to continually stir this for 23 minutes. What happens is the rice releases its starch and it makes a really creamy sauce. Once the alcohol is fairly absorbed, we'll start adding hot chicken stock. I have chicken stock at the simmer. I just added about a cup of chicken broth. And once this is absorbed, I'll add another cup and I'll keep doing this for 23 minutes. That's how long it takes for the risotto to cook. As the rice absorbs the chicken stock, you just keep adding another cup or so. Keep stirring. Okay, it's been 23 minutes. I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese, but first I'm gonna turn the heat off. You don't wanna have the heat on when you add the Parmesan. I added the Parmesan cheese and I'm just gonna give it a stir and it's actually gonna tighten up the risotto even uh, a little bit more. And, we're gonna drop the green beans and dinner will be ready in a minute. That is the perfect consistency of the risotto, just perfect. For dinner, we're having the chicken marsala with the reduced sauce, risotto and green beans. Tuesday, we're gonna just do ground beef tacos with rice and beans. And I did a recent video on the refried beans and Mexican rice, so I'll link that in the description box. Here's our plates for dinner, ground beef tacos, uh, the refried beans with a little cotija cheese, avocado, sour cream, and look how 
fluffy, the Mexican rice is. Wednesday, we're having Frito pie hot dogs. I'm just making a little bit of chili and serving it with all the toppings. And we're gonna keep it um, just very simple tonight. I had gotten um, the quarter pound all beef hot dogs from Sam's Club, like in bulk. It was a case of 120 and I think it was like $73 or something like that. So it's like, I don't know, 80 cents a, a person. <laughs> so it's a very affordable dinner too. Tonight for dinner, we're having uh, chili pie hot dogs. I have some of these uh, quarter pounder beef hot dogs that I got at Sam's Club. I made some basic chili and I have a cook with me video on it. I'll link in the description box. And then we just put on whatever toppings we wanted, sour cream, cheese, tomatoes, onions, uh, Fritos. I have some sweet and sour jalapenos that are pickled. And that's what we're having for dinner. And here's Ken's chili dog. Good Lord, man, you're gonna have heartburn all night tonight. Tonight for dinner, we're making a Asian chicken salad. And it's a delish recipe. Thursday, we're making Asian chicken salad. This is an excellent rest recipe, exclamation point. I'll put the recipe for the Thai coconut chicken marinade, and then I'll show you how we put it together. Tonight, I'm serving it family style on one big platter. Normally, I make like individual uh, salads and just have them in the fridge, but uh, the dressing is really good too. It has a little bit of sesame uh, oil, a mayonnaise base with honey, Dijon. It's it's really a great uh, recipe for uh, this salad too. I defrosted some of the Thai coconut chicken marinade that I had in the freezer. This is just chicken cutlets with a Thai coconut uh, marinade. We're gonna get this on the grill. There's a bed of lettuce. There's some shredded carrots, a little bit of red cabbage, bean sprouts, red bell pepper, snow peas, which we grew in our garden. So that was kind of cool. Cilantro, which we grew in our garden, water chestnuts, and green onions. That's the base of the salad. And then Ken is grilling the Thai coconut uh, chicken on the grill. I just made the dressing. It's made of mayo, rice wine vinegar, honey, a little bit of Dijon, and sesame oil. I'll put the recipe down below. Plate it, I put a bed of the veggies, I added the grilled chicken, and then some mandarin oranges, chow mein noodles, sesame seeds, the dressing. Another thing that sometimes I add is sliced almonds. I just don't have any on hand. Friday I'm making chicken cordon bleu. It sounds a lot fancier than it is. It's just chicken breast that you, you kind of lay them out and pound them out till they're thin and you put Swiss cheese and a ham in it, you roll it up and then you, you kind of bread it like you're making fried chicken and uh, fry it off in a, an iron skillet and then finish baking it in the oven. I'm serving it with rice and then from the pan drippings, I'm gonna make a mushroom uh, cream sauce with a little bit of brandy. It goes really well with it. Tonight we're having chicken cordon bleu with rice and a mushroom gravy. Oh, I forgot the asparagus. Let me get that on the plate. I'll put the cook for me video in the description box. Sunday, we're having lobster again because I don't know when it's gonna be on sale again. <laughs> so we're gonna have Ken's uh, Fancy Pants uh, Father's Day dinner on Saturday night and then he wanted some taquitos in, uh, for uh, his Father's Day dinner on Sunday night. So we're having lobster. I found a couple of really thick ribeye steaks. They're, they were almost like tomahawk steaks. They were so thick. So I got a couple of those to cook. So kind of like a surf and turf, you know, meal. Um, decadent. We're cooking a couple of double thick ribeye steaks. They're kind of like tomahawk steaks, but they don't have the long bone on it over the open fire. And then we have lobsters in the pot. I'm sauteing some uh, button mushrooms and some butter, salt and pepper. And towards the end, I'll add probably a half a cup of brandy. These are those two ribeye steaks. We just sliced them and I cooked some brandied mushrooms. We're serving this on the side. For Father's Day dinner, we're having lobster, asparagus, butter, and then we cut up those two steaks and brandied some mushrooms. Kind of like our take on a surf and turf. 
it looks opulent, opulent. <laughs> divine really oh my goodness yes. and look at my peonies they're so pretty well that's our meal plan for this week i just want to wish all you fathers a happy father's day and you guys take care and until the next video talk to you guys later